Hey guys, so in this part of the tutorial, we're going to be sending out our first ever newsletter. That's right. So we've been playing a lot in the list section and in this tutorial, we are going to be now heading over to the campaigns section. So that's this button over here. If you go up in the toolbar on the left hand side, you can click on this button here to take us to our first campaign. So here again, just like the list, once you create lots and lots of campaigns, they will be listed here. We don't have any campaigns at the moment, so let's create one. And here it gives us an option of what type of campaign do we want to send. Do we just want to send a regular campaign? Do we want to send a plain text campaign? So a plain text campaign is basically just like uh, if you send an email to somebody, that's pretty much plain text. It doesn't have any images in it. It doesn't really have any dynamic content in there, like a video in there. It pretty much is uh, empty. There's no formatting. So that's what a plain text campaign is. A regular campaign is much more prettier. So it will have like background colors. It will have pictures and videos and all stuff like that. So a B testing campaign is basically a way for you to send up to different variations of the same email to test to see which emails come back with more clicks, more opens, uh, more activity. So here we have the RSS campaign and here it says send content from an RS feed to a list. So for instance, I might have a blog and I might want to update all of my users every time I update my blog, or it could be somebody else's blog, but but more often than not, it's going to be my own blog. So I would probably use something like this, the RSS campaign, just to let people know uh, that I have a new blog entry coming out. So I'm going to choose for now the regular campaign. And here it gives us an option to send to the list that we had previously created. So depending on how many lists you've got, it will all be listed here. So here I can send to the whole entire list. I can send to a segment of the list which we added before in the previous tutorial, I could send to a group. So here I could send to my clients or the potential clients, or I can create a brand new segment if I wanted to. Okay. So I'm going to choose uh, send to entire list. Next, we get to put in our campaign info. So this stuff is pretty much important. So let's try and go through it all. First of all, we want to name our campaign. So I'm going to name this uh, Serial Killers because I have a horrible obsession with them. And here is my email subject. So I'm going to put down something like uh, the worst Serial Killers in history and the from name is from the design creative and the from email address is uh, dying at designcreative.co.uk so I could change all of this if I want to okay so if you have a pro or a paid account here you can uh, customize stuff even further so we have the ability to use conversations to manage replies and we have goal tracking here as well at the bottom so here we also have a personalized the two field. Now, if you can remember when we set up or subscribed our members before manually, I did have a name field. And one of the reasons why I think it's important that you have a name field is that you can personalize and customize your emails to your subscribers. So it's a bit more friendly instead of saying, Hey, do you want to buy this stuff from my website? You can put down, Hey Bob, how are you? Would you like to buy some stuff from the website? And that's a lot more personal than just a, a you know a general kind of email so i would say if you are creating forms or you are creating your list try to get the first name at least okay that make that be the least thing you do so here we've got some options for tracking so we can track our opens every time somebody clicks we can also add google uh, google analytics uh link tracking there's e-commerce 360 tracking there's all this other stuff that you can have a look through we can also connect our social media uh, to our post so then every time we create a newsletter it automatically sends out a tweet or it automatically posts to our Facebook we can also have the ability to convert any videos that we include in our email so then they work when they fit or when they're opened in mobile so I'm going to check this option here 
and I'm going to click next. So on this screen, we're able to select the look and feel and layout of our template. Now here is the basic templates that we have and we can easily choose from one of these if we want to or we can collect, uh, select on themes. And here, MailChimp has created a number of different themes that we can use in our own uh, mail outs, which are really cool. So I would definitely say have a look through some of these. Um, and if you fancy any of them, then take them out for a date, you know, use them. You can also save templates. So if you have a template that you know that you're always going to use for all of your mail outs, you can save them here and it will be easy for you next time when you need to select or you need to do another campaign. We also have templates from previous campaigns. So the more campaigns that you do, all of your templates would be saved here. So then you can obviously select from a previous one that you've done. And of course, there is the option for you to code your own. So if you're good at HTML and CSS, this would be a great place where you can do your own coding, design your own template, or maybe you might have bought a template. And I'm thinking, I know some of you are thinking, well, where can I buy templates from? If you're not happy with how their themes are and you don't want to start from scratch with a basic theme, you can, of course, use somewhere like Theme Forest, which has templates for MailChimp and you can go to it via themeforest.net, check on marketing and go down to email templates. And if you click on tags, you can check here where it says MailChimp. Let's scroll down and click done. And all of these different MailChimp templates will appear and you can buy them from here and upload them to your MailChimp account so then you can use them repeatedly in any of the campaigns that you send out. So let's create our first template. What I'm going to do is head over to basic and select a very basic layout to start with so I can show you exactly what you have to do to customize the template. So here I am in the customizer and as you can see we have a preview of our template on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have a number of modules which we can literally drag and drop into our template. I can customize these modules by simply clicking and dragging them onto the canvas and from here I can do things like change the name change colors and even change where this button links to I can do things like add logos add images add videos I can do all types of customizations to the template by changing things like the background and even the font family and the size of the text if I want to preview my email or possibly send my email to somebody else for them to see it, I can click on preview and test and choose to send a test email or I can enter into preview mode and see what the template will look like. There are a number of options you can try before you even send out your newsletter. So make sure that you run through them and double check that your newsletter is up to standard. Next, you can save your newsletter as a template. When you're happy, let's click on next and get to the next screen. This screen is an overview of your campaign. Here you can see the list that you're going to send to, the title and others. If you need to change anything, just press the edit button to make your changes. You can also set up a schedule for when this mail out gets sent. So you may not be ready for it to be sent now. You may want it to be sent tomorrow. If that's the case, then you can set the date and the time and schedule the campaign. If you don't want to schedule the campaign, you can of course just press send and it will send it automatically for you. Immediately after sending out your first campaign, you will be able to track how many people have opened your campaign, how many clicks, as well as other useful stuff that you might want to find out. For instance, the person who opens up your email the most, where they're located, 
and what was the top link in your mail out that got clicked the most. The stats are all done in real time, so there's no waiting around 24 hours later to find out you know, who clicked and who didn't click. You'll be able to find out the information as soon as somebody opens your mail out. Now when you go to the dashboard, of your MailChimp account, you will no longer be greeted with the beginner's guide to do anything. You will now have your recently sent campaigns lined up, your list growth lined up, your top five campaigns lined up. And of course, at the bottom, we have something here called Chimp Chatter, which t shows us how many people have subscribed to your mailing list and how many people have unsubscribed. So that is it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to be talking about teams. So if you are the main owner of your MailChimp account but you want other people to also set up mailing lists, um, set up templates for you, um, organize your members, your subscribers, then I'm going to show you a way that you can add people to your MailChimp account without giving them full access. Stay tuned, this is Diane here from Design Creative. Make sure that you subscribe and I see you on the other side.